I get every single note when smelling this candle. Game. Welcome or welcome back to another day of Stitchmas. Today is Stitchmas day 12 and today's video will be my Bath and Body Works candle day candle haul. I like the sound of that candle day candle haul. So if you guys are interested in seeing what I picked up from Bath and Body Works on a candle day then definitely stay tuned and keep on watching. Before we dive into today's video if you haven't already make sure you scroll down scroll down just a little bit leave this video a big thumbs up subscribe to my YouTube channel down below we're trying to touch 7k by the end of the year we could definitely do it y'all so make sure you subscribe if you haven't already subscribed if you've been watching my channel for a little while and you just haven't committed and clicked the subscribe subscribe button be sure to do so today and also be sure to turn on your post notifications so that way you don't miss out on any of my upcoming content and also follow me on Instagram at the stitch life so really really quickly I'm I have my hair up in this little situation I've been loving my hair up with the crochet lock so um, that's pretty much why you guys are always seeing me with this style but I am wearing my scrunchie from 7 me definitely shop with them this holiday season I'll leave my coupon code on the screen black owned woman owned business I'm also wearing my lashes these are some lashes that I've been testing for a few months now on the lips I'm wearing the Fenty Beauty fruit snacks glass bomb cream I just added a little, little bit so that's why it looks a little sheer and I did go ahead and line with a brown lip liner and then face is LYS beauty foundation plus my NYX NARS soft matte foundation and then earrings are coming from forever 21 and I actually just put on this pajama top because I felt like it was festive so I have a whole bag of stuff from that of stuff from Bath and Body Works. I had to put that down because it's really heavy. Candles and I did pick up some room sprays from Bath and Body Works on Candle Day. So I placed an order on Candle Day and then on the Saturday I went in store and picked up a few more candles because I know I'm a little crazy. But in total I only have seven. I only ordered seven. I think that's good because I really and truly was going to order the limit that you could order. I think the maximum was like 12 or 14. I think it was 12, but I held it down. Okay, so let's first start off with the candles that I picked up. The first one is the brown sugar latte candle. I really, 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 really like the packaging for this. Very, very cute. This would look really nice in a candle holder as well very festive and it's not doing too much like I don't mind the holiday candles that have like the green and red and all that but sometimes it doesn't really fit the aesthetic in your in your home so I like the color scheme but I do like the fact that they still decorated it with you know the bells and the snowflakes let's get into the smell it always amazes me how these candle brands are able to get the exact scent in a candle like this smells like a drink at Starbucks not gonna lie it smells just like a latte would wow the notes for this include freshly roasted coffee frothed milk sugar praline and natural essential oils you definitely get the coffee and you get the you get the praline as well the praline is definitely present the nutty vibe is definitely present in here you get the milk as well but it mostly smells like roasted coffee and sugared praline can't wait to burn this so if you watch my last candle haul i think that was my single wick candle haul I recorded that in november then you already know about this one right here i picked up the aromatherapy three wick vanilla and patchouli candle so this is the single wick this is the one that i picked up last month when i say i haven't even burned the single wick as yet but i just knew off the strength of the smell from the single wick that i needed to get the three wick candle if you're familiar with ebony woods the ebony woods edp from zara from the zara and joe malone collaboration then i'm here to tell you that this candle smells exactly like the edp like the perfume it smells so good wow when I stumbled upon this one, and this was just a blind buy because I did purchase the single wick candles online. Once this got to my home, I was in love. The notes include sweet vanilla, patchouli, Italian bergamot, cedar wood with essential oils. This 
is Ebony Woods. If Joe Malone is helping Bath and Body Works with candle making, just say that. And if you've been keeping up with my vlogs, then you know I'm pretty much obsessed with Ebony Woods right now. Like that's one of my favorite fragrances of the season. So I was so excited to get this in the three-bit candle. This is going to be something that I'm going to repurchase time and time again, but why not get it at a discounted price? The next candle that I picked up is Bubbly Rose. So I thought this was new. It said that it was new online, but my friend told me that I purchased this prior to the candle day sale. So Y'all don't gotta lie, but I don't know. I really like the packaging, so I was like, let me go ahead and pick it up. Y'all know I'm a sucker for pink. And when I read Bubbly Rose, I was like, oh, that sounds like it would be like a champagne rose scented type of candle. So the notes do include pink sparkling rose, see? Sweet blood orange, splash of cranberry juice with natural essential oils. So I also love cranberry scented candles. So when I saw the notes for this, I was like, okay, she sounds like it'll be a really nice cocktail scented candle or cocktail inspired candle. So I went ahead and picked it up and it smells just like that. It smells like, it smells like a drink you would have at brunch. It's definitely fresh, just a little sweet. I can't wait to burn this. I'm probably going to wait to burn this because I burn certain candles based on the season and I feel like we're not in the season for bubbly rose right now. More spring, summer is when this will be burned in my house. The next candle is actually the sugared snickerdoodle candle. Again, packaging. Packaging? Pretty. Really pretty. Again, festive but not doing too much. And I feel like this will look really, really cute in a little candle holder as well. But this one? <sighs> smells like a cookie it smells just like a cookie the notes include warm spices creamy vanilla sugared musk with essential with natural essential oils i get the vanilla and the spices i don't really get the muskiness in this candle at all it mostly smells like vanilla whipped cream and i get some of the spices like the nutmeg vibe in this <sighs> now i want snickerdoodle cookies now i want now I want some snickerdoodle cookies, specifically from Insomnia Cookies. If you live in New York City, then you should be familiar with Insomnia Cookies. They make one, some of the best cookies, I think. Can't wait to burn this. Definitely will be burning this during the winter months. The next candle is this gingerbread marshmallow candle. Packaging, like the, look at the packaging. Do you guys see the little bear on there with the crown? That's so cute. Oh. I love the packaging for this. See, it has the flannel that it has this flannel print on it, but it's not doing too much. I don't know. Clearly, I have like a little pet peeve about candles that are like too Christmassy looking, if that makes sense. But I like it. It's very chic. And the lid, the top. This is something that I would never throw away. Like I like to keep certain lids because I just feel like I could put it on different candles. This lid is not gonna be thrown away. Something like this, I might toss. But this lid is a keeper. Let me know if you keep certain lids and keep certain candles. For me, I might repurpose the candle and maybe use it as like a brush holder or something like that. I don't throw away all of my candle jars. But this gingerbread marshmallow candle, did I even say what scent I got? The gingerbread marshmallow candle includes notes of gingerbread spice, eggnog. <sighs> Spiced rum, vanilla frosting, brown sugar crystals with natural essential oils. Ooh. Ooh. Okay, I get the vanilla. I get the rum. I get the rum, just a little bit. I'm Caribbean, so I will definitely pick the rum up. But I get the rum, I get the gingerbread spice, I get the brown sugar as well. I don't really get the eggnog. Maybe when I burn it, I might. I do wanna note that this scent is not as strong as I thought it would be. It's very subtle, very faint. Interested to see how this will burn. Let's just see how it burns. I'll definitely update you guys most likely in a vlog. So make sure you guys are checking out my vlogs as well because that's usually when I'll update you guys about some of my purchases, candle purchases included. So definitely be on the lookout for that. The next candle is one that I picked up in store on the second day along with the last one which is behind me. And it is the Peppermint Hot Chocolate Candle. So at first I wasn't gonna buy this but I was in the store with my former coworker and she picked this one up and I was like, okay, let me smell it I smelled it and I was like oh that's nice and I was like um, but I don't really need it but I bought it because I went back it smelled it again and I'm like okay this is kind of nice but when I smelled this like the peppermint and hot chocolate combo kind of threw me 
but when I smelled it the second time around, I'm like, okay, this is kind of nice. I could see how this would really fit well with the season. I could see myself really enjoying this once it's burned. So I went ahead and picked it up. So the notes include cool peppermint, silky milk chocolate, sweet cream with natural essential oils. I get every single note when smelling this candle. So I could only imagine how it's gonna smell when burned. I could see this filling up an entire room. It smells so good. You definitely get the cool peppermint. Milk chocolate for sure, not dark chocolate. Milk chocolate, like my nose is just, my nose definitely can distinguish, distinguish the two. Definitely get that, the milk chocolate in here and you definitely get the sweet cream. This, wow. This is another candle that amazed me because how do you get this to smell like a peppermint hot chocolate so much like an actual drink from Starbucks an actual drink from like Dunkin Donuts this smells like one of those Swiss I think the brand is called Swiss something I'll put it up on the screen that hot chocolate brand it smells like a packet of one of those drinks I'm very excited to burn this one and the last candle that I have to share with you guys is right behind me let me go ahead and grab it it is the strawberry you should have seen this coming it is the strawberry pound cake candle I've raved about this candle numerous times. I currently own three. <laughs> I haven't burned any of them because I'm scared that it will be discontinued at Bath and Body Works, but I might go ahead and burn one this holiday season. So initially they were trying to sell me the one um, that had like a design like this, just clear, just plain pink or plain red um, candle. But I asked them if they had any other um, one of these candles the same strawberry pound cake candle but with a different design and they brought this one out so I believe this one is coming from the Valentine's Day collection so you see it has the strawberries printed all over the candle I was in love when they brought this out it's so pretty this is definitely not gonna be the one that I burn whenever I do burn it but this is definitely on my top five of favorite candles from Bath and Body Works when I say this goes hard you don't even have to have the lid open this candle could be closed shut and you will still smell it. If I were a candle from Bath & Body Works, I'd be this one. I'd be this one. Same reaction every single time. Literally speechless. I'm not even exaggerating. I feel like people really think like, oh, she's exaggerating. This candle, this candle. If I could kiss the person, I'm not exaggerating, I'm not exact. If I could kiss the person that created this candle at Bath & Body Works, I would, because it's that good. But the notes include fresh strawberries, golden shortcake, whipped cream with essential oil. This smells like it's coming straight out of a, straight out of a bakery. It smells like the Debbie, I think it's Little Debbie, strawberry shortcake rolls. That's exactly what this candle smells like. I used to, be, I used to eat a ton of those when I was younger. I don't eat them anymore. But this one right here, is the one you i feel like this can be burned all year long so again i told you guys i haven't burned any of these as yet i'm sitting on three but i'll definitely be burning one and this one will just be a keepsake i can't burn her she just looks too pretty so so those are all of the candles that i picked up during candle day but i did pick up three of the bath and body works vaporized the room sprays i've never purchased them in the past but i always hear people talk about them so i was like okay let me give them a try they did have a deal um for three i think for twenty dollars so i went ahead and picked up of course three the first one that i picked up was this one this is the fresh cotton room spray i placed this in my bathroom and i really like it the girls did not lie when they said you only need like one spray because it because it is very very concentrated so you don't need to spray it like you do your febreze or spray it like you do i don't know your your ear wicks the notes on this include soft cotton lemon zest and fresh lily i definitely get the soft cotton and fresh lily i don't really get the lemon zest Okay, light. Mm. More soft cotton and fresh lily. I don't really get the lemon zest like that in here. Maybe it's just me, but when I spray it, it's mostly cotton. The next one that I picked up, <laughs> you know I'm obsessed when I buy the same scent in different things. For real, for real. So the next room spray that I picked up was the Aromatherapy Vanilla and Patchouli Room Spray. 
not only will I be smelling like Ebony Woods, but my rooms will be smelling like Ebony Woods. This one right here, I feel like it's perfect for the season. And this is something that I would like to spray in my room before bed, because I feel like it would definitely help to calm me down and prep me for bed. So I had to pick this one up because when I'm not lighting the candle, I could just spritz, 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 spritz near my pillow so I could go to sleep okay so I picked this one up as well the next thing that I need to pick up is the hand sanitizer I don't know if they have this scent in the hand sanitizer but if not I might need to either get the body lotion or the soap from that aromatherapy line and the last room spray that I picked up is guess just guess just guess I didn't even know that they had this in a room spray and I just recently found out that they also have the hand sanitizer so I need to pick that up as well but the last room spray that I picked up was the strawberry you got it you guessed it strawberry pound cake I do food dances but I also do candle dances if the food is good I'm gonna dance but if the candle and the spray is good I'm gonna dance as well this one again can't wait to spray it so even if i don't light the actual pound cake candle i could just do a few spritzes of this or one spritz of this actually let's not get too crazy one spritz of this and i'll be happy all over again so i'm very very pleased with my purchase from candle day my actual online order just came yesterday so i wanted to film this video for you guys today and get it up but i did buy two of them in store but i felt like i couldn't just record a video showing you guys two candles i had to wait for my entire order to come and i got these in store as well that's pretty much it those are all the things that i picked up on a candle day at bath and body works let me know down below what you picked up if you picked up any candles let me know if there's any scents that i need to try let me know because one thing i'm gonna listen to is a recommendation for a candle that's one thing i'm gonna listen to so definitely let me know which ones you picked up down below if you enjoyed this video don't head out before leaving your girl a big thumbs up make sure you also subscribe to join my youtube channel if you haven't already Turn on your post notifications to be alerted whenever I upload Stitchman's Day 13. And until tomorrow, I'll see you guys all later. Bye! The microphone was not on in the last clip. On today's episode of Candles with Stush, your favorite podcast. <laughs> Let me record this video. Hey, hey. So I picked up ooh, lovely people. I'll see all of I'll see I'll see you and until tomorrow I'll see you then. And I like to I, I've